Good afternoon. Welcome to KCL Tech Tip Tuesday. I'm Kevin Coachman. Today we're going to talk about a 2D, 3D CAD, Revit, how KCL operates between them all, and some basic differences. Hope you find this interesting today. So we'll start with our website. <clears throat> if you need to access the software, you go to kclcad.com, access KCL. And you have BIMCAD Designer is the desktop program that has the majority of the features. When you download the installer, you get some quick start instructions. And if I go run the wizard for installing, I can go through and choose to install the software. It'll detect whether you have AutoCAD or Revit. Or if you're running our napkin sketch, you don't even need the plugins, just KCL desktop application, KCL BIMCAD designer, and you're ready to go. This is what the KCL program looks like when you are logged in. And we wanna talk about just some basic differences here. You can see the black backgrounds are your 2D AutoCAD plan front, a 3D AutoCAD 2D side, and then the white background is for Revit. And if I look at different manufacturers, I may see AutoCAD only. I may see some that have Revit only. And one of the goals we wanna achieve today is just to show you the basics of how you can use them interchangeably. Again, it depends on what you're trying to accomplish. But if I were to send this to Revit, I have an A for AutoCAD, R for Revit, or N for Napkin Sketch. KCL has built the bridge that if you need this pizza oven right now, if I have full Revit and I hit R for Revit, it will load it into Revit. It will add parameter data so that I can schedule it in Revit. And here we'll load it and look at that. We are not saying this is a replacement by any means for Revit family, but if you need something as a placeholder, when I click on this, I can hit edit type, and I can see it has the proper gas, in this case, information to schedule. So I can tag it and schedule this. If I'm doing an elevation, I can view the elevation view. So we brought in different views. If I wanna turn things off, again, this is AutoCAD-like. This is just a bridge. This is not a replacement for Revit files for those of you joining today or watching. We're not saying don't use Revit. That is best to use Revit files. If I go in here to visibility graphics, everything that KCL does with AutoCAD type files is thrown into a group area called imported categories. If I go ahead and turn off my layer from AutoCAD, it cleans up. I can turn off my door swing layer for the elevation. It cleans it up. If I load more items in that are AutoCAD only because you can't find them in Revit, these settings are still here. So we'll go back to plan. Let's go back to KCL. And it could be any manufacturer. Let's see if I can find some that. And I grab this item, send it to Revit. It will load in again the multiple views. And that will also now show in the elevation any layers that I turned off remain off. And I can even move this up in the air where it still doesn't change my plan view. So one of the hidden tools in KCL is when you're in a jam, if you're a full Revit user, and sorry if you're using Revit LT, you really don't get to do anything here because there's no add-in but you can send to Revit any blocks from KCL. Now, if you're a Revit user, again, I wanna emphasize, this is just a quick placeholder, okay? This isn't really going to do a lot for you in the long run. It will give you a plan front view and schedule. If I were to view what we just did in 3D, in no world are these good 3Ds. But it is a placeholder, it shows you roughly the space it takes up. So that's the key. If you need to use a specific item 
from a specific manufacturer, that's gonna help you out greatly. Now, if I went back to KCL and I happen to get lucky and it doesn't have Revit, but it does have an AutoCAD 3D, I can send that to Revit. So this is kind of going from the you know, worst case to best case. So the worst is 2D CAD, AutoCAD in Revit. The next lowest option is a 3D. So this looks a lot better in 3D. This does have data for schedules. So it can be tagged and scheduled. Again, it's not a native Revit. I can't edit this. I can go into my visibility graphics. Even though there are three different AutoCAD blocks, we keep them all in this one group for you, which is another minor plus if you have to use these. And we can turn off some of our 2D layers if we want to. So again, you can see the AutoCAD 3D looks pretty good. Again, it's not perfect. Let's okay this. It does have materials. You can see different colors. I left the electrical layer on there. So again, recapping, you've got AutoCAD 2D. We can make it usable. We've got AutoCAD 3D, which is gonna be better. Then we have KCL custom blocks. For those that have been using KCL, we've had these custom blocks in here for many, many years. If I go in and say I want to generate, well, let's do a dish table this time. We'll do table. There are over 100 custom block applications in here. I'm going to do a dish table. I can put in sizes and I can choose options soiled with a deck mount faucet. And I can say, let's generate that. It makes it up in KCL. I can now send this to Revit, AutoCAD, or Napkin Sketch. We're just going to go to Revit for this example. This is similar to the AutoCAD file before, except I built it on the fly. And you can see here, the layers are already off for 2D, and you can see some materials. So these are a close middle ground here that we can give you good 3D items, but this item just has very basic information. So if you're going to use KCL custom blocks for AutoCAD inside a Revit, you can do that, but then you might want to go to the KCL toolbar where you can add parameter data. If I want to add cold water, hot water, and we'll do an indirect drain. I can add these parameters to my AutoCAD or Revit families. And now I see that information here for me to edit. So again, we're talking about bridges. We're trying to help you choose a specific item and load it in Revit, make it look a little better with AutoCAD 3D or build custom blocks as you need to. The very best thing to do is when you're running in KCL, if there's a native Revit, find what you need, hit R for Revit. This should have all the parameters. It should be in 3D. It has real materials. You don't have to mess around with the layers like we did for AutoCAD. So for those of you joining today, watching online, what we're just trying to cover here is what tools does KCL have in this case to go to Revit? It could be 2D, 3D AutoCAD, custom blocks, native Revit. If you have full Revit, 20, might be 19 or higher, you'll see a new button here called Revit custom blocks. This is kind of a middle ground that we're gonna make you a native Revit file. We'll just make it a different size choose some options. And we have additional webinars for KCL custom blocks and, and Revit details of our toolbar. But this one, if you have full Revit, we made the table with the options we had. This is now, I can edit this file if I want to. Am I very good at this? No, 
but these are now pieces that I can move around where I can't do that with an AutoCAD block. So KCL now has 2D CAD, 3D CAD, custom blocks for AutoCAD, custom blocks for Revit, and of course, native Revit families. And if I look at it, say from the 3D view, you know, it looks pretty good. It may not be exactly the way you'd construct it. This is not parametric, but our program is parametric. So you could just go generate a different size if you needed a different option. So that's something that may be new for a few of you watching in terms of Revit custom blocks. Now we have users that wanna go the other direction. Say you're an AutoCAD or AutoCAD LT user, and you're looking at product, and let's find one. No, I can usually find one in South Bend. And unfortunately, there are quite a few manufacturers that are Revit only these days. So if I needed this item for AutoCAD, ACL takes the Revit file, we create as best as we can a nicely layered AutoCAD block. So it's not just one mass for AutoCAD. These have layers that you can turn on and off to adjust it. I can send this to AutoCAD. So go in the opposite. This isn't your best case option, but if you need this item and you don't have an AutoCAD two-dimensional block, you can take the Revit file and send it over to AutoCAD. I think it's really big and it's loading. There it comes. And I get the same block and or balloon if I have my balloons on, which I don't know if I do. Oh, and I have, was playing around with scales earlier. Just find KCL, that's set right. So our balloon's a little bit small, but for this purpose, we're, we're good to see the Revit to CAD file. Again, I can turn on and off layers. So just as I was able to do this in Revit, I can say I don't want to see any of my 3D information to try to clean it up. This doesn't have the connection point. It's not as nicely layered, but it does give me a two-dimensional and three-dimensional file that I can use. So if you're in a jam and all you see is the AutoCAD 3D version, it's usable in AutoCAD. Of course, our 2D and 3D AutoCAD files will work best for AutoCAD, but you can go Revit to CAD, CAD to Revit with KCL. And if you're not familiar with our napkin sketch tool, the same thing holds here. I can send my Revit 3D to napkin sketch, turn on and off layers here. I can view the item in napkin sketch and it also has a little rotate button or change view. So we're trying to make Revit files usable everywhere by automatically converting to AutoCAD and we try to make AutoCAD files available in Revit. Last one, just one little new thing that we have is Room Builder. And Room Builder allows you to construct, we have a more detailed webinar on this, but basically walls, doors, and windows, you can use them in any design application. So we'll do a north wall, 10 feet. We'll turn the corner and go east. Maybe we wanna go four feet. We'll add a doorway, 36. Add another wall, maybe another 48. You can type in any detailed dimensions you want with the small window. And we'll put one more wall up there that's 80 inches. I can go back, and that was supposed to be a window, so we're gonna get rid of that. Window 24, and you can reorder, move things around. You can go back and change door swings. There's other options, but when you generate it, we're gonna generate a basic layout that you can send to AutoCAD, Revit or napkin sketch. This is an AutoCAD file. This can be viewed in AutoCAD 2D or 3D. If you send it to Revit, not our 
first recommendation, but you can do that. It will just be a solid block like our AutoCAD converted options. If you need something quick and dirty, it's here. Again, we're not trying to turn you know, Revit users to use all AutoCAD. We just want you to see if you need something quick, you can do it and place your items inside. Again, broken record here today, native Revit, best for Revit, native AutoCAD 2D, best for AutoCAD 2D users, but KCL will allow you the crossover just by clicking the A, R, or N button. If you like videos like today or joining our webinars, there's a YouTube button in the upper right corner of KCL. We record most of these webinars, sometimes I forget, and you can watch detailed videos about balloons and schedules. A deeper dive we did last week for the Revit toolbar, custom blocks, lots of features inside here that we just wanna help make you as productive as possible when you're using KCL.